Hey, this is Justin with SaltStrong, and in this video, we're gonna go through the three best ways to rig live mullet. Guys, it is fall right now. The mullet run is in full swing down here in Florida, and anybody that's using live mullet, whether you're over in the Gulf Coast or here off of the Atlantic, you have to better understand how you want to hook this live bait because they're gonna swim and perform differently depending on where you have that hook placement throughout the body. So the better you understand how these fish swim in their natural environment and what they look like underwater when you hook them, the better your chances are gonna be at presenting this bait effectively and getting a monster fish. Now, probably the easiest and the most streamlined way to present a live mullet would be either with a circle hook or a J hook, whatever your preference is, and running the hook through both the bottom and the top lip of the bait fish, like so. So if you take a look underneath here, when you take that hook point and you run it from the bottom lip out through the top, the most important thing you need to keep in mind is how far back you're gonna go with that hook. Keep in mind that if you do run that hook a little too far back, I like to say that my reference point is I wanna make sure my hook point is coming out in front of the eyes. If I ran it right back behind the eyes, I run the risk of impaling the brain or something vital on the bait fish and then it just not swimming naturally. So make sure that you run that hook point through both lips and in front of the eye, that'll give you kind of a sweet spot where you've got enough grab on this fish, but not so much that you injure the bait fish and then it doesn't swim naturally in the water. So I really like this hook configuration. When I'm trying to free line a mullet on the surface, uh, if I'm fishing for tarpon that are rolling around, or if I just wanna have a, a mullet sitting out on the open flats and I want it to swim freely without much resistance, this is gonna be the most natural way to present a live mullet. But you can also do this type of hook setup if you're fishing near any kind of current or on the bottom, uh, you can still hook through the bottom and the top lip and run like, let's say a pinch weight or an egg sinker up your leader line. But the most important thing to consider is that you're gonna want that mullet to be presented facing into the current. And this is really important because when the mullet is facing into the current, it's still gonna swim naturally. You're gonna have a little bit of resistance and pull to keep that mullet facing into the current and it's gonna appear very natural in the water. If you present this mullet cross current or against the current, chances are it's probably gonna roll on its sides or get swept with the current and turn sideways. And this mullet's probably going to roll over onto the line and maybe even foul itself again on the hook point or tangle with your sinker. And it's just not going to appear natural and you're gonna miss your chances of getting a good bite. Another great spot to hook live mullet is in the back, but it's not what you might think. Instead of taking a hook and going through the front dorsal fin and out through the top, if you take a look at this hook configuration, the way that a bait fish is gonna respond when you hook it in this manner is, if you have a resistance coming off the top of the hook and you're pulling back, you're gonna be pulling this bait towards the surface if there's resistance, and it's just gonna appear unnatural. So instead, if you wanna hook it in the back, a sweet spot that we found is above the lateral line that you see here, and right underneath the back side of the dorsal fin, there's a good meaty area that you can go through and go through both sides. And what will happen is when you apply resistance here on the back side of the mullet, Captain Peter Deeks pointed out an awesome tip. And when you apply this resistance on the back of a live mullet, when it's free lined, the mullet's tendency is gonna to be to swim away from that resistance. So you can almost slingshot this bait fish. If you're gonna be fishing from a boat or from land and you want this bait fish to swim towards structure, this is an excellent way to get the bait fish to swim away from you and into the zone where all these predator fish are gonna be hanging out. And the third way I found to rig live mullet if I'm gonna be fishing towards the bottom and I don't wanna deal with all the terminal tackle and a sinker and all that stuff, I'll just use a jig head. Really simple. I prefer to use these mission fishing jig heads when fishing with live mullet or mud minnows or croakers or any other type of bait fish that hangs out near the bottom. This flat underside of these mission fishing jig heads just make contact with the bottom much easier and this angled eye point will allow you to pull over pieces of structure a little bit easier. So just like with the first configuration, you take the hook point and go through the bottom and the top lip and this weight design, depending on the depth you're gonna be fishing in, you know, I like to go with, say, an eighth ounce if I'm fishing in really shallow water, quarter ounce if I'm fishing eh, three to five feet, and anything deeper than that, we've got a three eighths ounce option 
that is perfect for a little bit deeper water and a little bit faster moving current. And this is deadly for monster flounder this time of the year. Flounder are gonna start making their way out onto the beaches. They should be spawning soon. And some of the biggest varieties can be caught using this particular method right here. And one really important tip for you guys that I wanna make sure doesn't go overlooked. I had a frozen mullet with me here from uh, fishing the other day. And if you notice very carefully here on the tip of that hook, I just nose hooked this mullet. And I remember that something that I've, I've often forgotten about is you need to make sure that whether you nose hook or if you tail hook or whatever, any kind of bait fish, there can be a little piece of scale that makes their way onto the tip of that hook. And believe it or not, that little scale can mean the difference between hooking up into a nice fish and not hooking up at all. So just make sure anytime you hook a mullet, mullet in particular, just because they're really scaly, uh, or croakers or pinfish or anything, just make sure that you very simply remove that scale from the tip of the hook so that you don't have any kind of obstruction. And then when a big fish does take this bait, you have full exposed contact of that hook to make sure that you hook up. So I hope you found these tips on how to rig live mullet helpful. Guys, if you have different ways of rigging live mullet, leave it down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you need to pick up any of the tackle to go out and rig live mullet, like circle hooks, J hooks, leader material, and these mission fishing jig heads for bounce and bottom for flounder, I love these, head on over to our shop page, fishstrong.com. And remember, if you're one of our insider members, you know that you can earn up to 20% off of all of these tackle items on the table. And just remember that at the end of the day, the two most important things, whether you're using live bait or artificial lures, number one, it's about presentation. It's about knowing when to rig through the nose, when to rig through the tail, or to pop a mullet on a jig head, that it's gonna mean the difference between just having a bait sit out there and doing its thing and fishing it more effectively. And then number two, and the most important thing is about finding the fish because 90% of these fish are in 10% of the water and that is exactly what we teach over at saltstrunk.com. If you haven't joined our insider club, you definitely should head on over and take a look. Ask us any questions you might have because our goal is to help make sure that you catch more fish in less time. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best inshore fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you're gonna start catching more fish while saving time and money. And we do this by providing you with our premium education and exclusive insider fishing community and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. So to learn more, head on over to saltstrong.com and we will see you in the insider family soon.